Uh, we've been through the orange blanket of smoke that took over the skies and for some of us, our lungs. But the tri-state seems ready to return to normality. And that's beginning to happen. Public schools in New York City, for example, resuming normal operations come Monday. I went to see reporter Marcus Solis outside Jacoby Hospital in the Bronx. Marcus. And Bill, a doctor we spoke to today says that prolonged exposure to unhealthy air is kind of like a cold coming on. You can feel it coming on, but it takes a few days for the symptoms to really kick in and then to resolve. And that's why it's important to continue to take precautions if you are a member of one of those sensitive groups. And it's something that city officials are stressing as well. We want you to stay indoors as much as possible. If you can stay indoors, we would like for you to stay indoors. That's a bit of a hard sell as evidenced by the typical hustle and bustle on Fordham Road. It seems like it's a lot safer today, but we'll see. You know, hopefully it stays clear. Despite those mostly clear conditions, some Bronx residents are opting to mask up, like this healthcare worker who's recovering from a case of bronchitis. I still feel like a my cough is still alive, and I feel like I'm having a shortness of breath. Wednesday's apocalyptic afternoon with orange skies and air quality levels north of 400 may seem like a distant memory, but city officials today continued to warn New Yorkers, especially vulnerable residents, that they are not in the clear. People with heart or breathing problems or older adults may be still sensitive to the current conditions in the air. These people should limit time outdoors and should avoid prolonged and intense outdoor activities. Asthma related emergency room visits nearly doubled in the city Wednesday and jumped 18% statewide. Doctors report a similar spike in office visits, a trend Dr. Denise Nunez expects to persist. You don't react sometimes right away. You might have like a little sore throat or start coughing, but then it goes into your bloodstream and then that affects your immune system. That affects, starts creating inflammation, takes a couple of hours, I mean, a day or two, and then you start getting sick. Just a few blocks away at Fordham University, a previously scheduled roundtable discussion on fighting climate change took on new urgency. Congressman Richie Torres calling this week's scary skies a wake up call. This is not speculation, this is reality. Like public health is at stake. And during this upcoming nice weekend, the city health commissioner just repeats the common sense advice that if you feel uh, burning eyes or maybe a scratchy throat, head inside if you can. If you can't, put on a mask. But if you feel anything more serious, like shortness of breath, that's the time to seek medical attention. 